No can pitch the central choir, a genio, a tender zoom tons in all the imba.
you to remain here because we are beginning the procession we are beginning the procession and the team is about to enter now Chido, what you are going to do is um, wonderful wonderful wonderful
Banyabu neva sebo mkama wafe Yeva ziwe nyo Tuwa galo kubeba ze nyo Uluo kutuwega tako kumkoro guno guwe chitibwa Nga Nicholas Vitamazire Virigua Ne Chigun Frank Lule Bagenda Okwa ulibwa Ena kuzona Ezobla mubu wawe Emikono mjimanyi vuru nji nyo Mwabekani sa Seventh Day Adventist Ntie mikono jino Mikuru nyo 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 Emikono jobu sumba Emikono jobu kade Mikono mikuru Ida katonda yekaya sobola Okujite kako Na ifa avantu chetukola Kwekola chonechi soboka Okulaba anga Tuvera okuluwa katonda Echisera chino Bana fe abatulaba okuva ku Hope Channel, okuva ku Three Angels Broadcast Network. Uh, tuliba sanyu funyo, tuliba wano enajana nkumbi, eranga echitulese enajana nkumbi kwe kuteka ke mikono wabasajaba katonda. Nicholas Vitamazire Virigua, ne Frank Chigundu Lule, nga tugenda kubateka ko emikono tubau ulire katonda. We are so excited, we have a big team from Bugema University. I'll have to interchange the languages because of that situation. But we are so excited that you could be with us on this ordination ceremony. And I am very sure that Pastor Vita Mazire must be feeling very good because you decided to come and join us. And wherever you are watching from on Hope Channel or Three Angels Broadcast Network, thank you. Thank you very much. And those who are watching by social media, live stream and stuff like that, we are at Najana Kumbi here and something big is about to happen. The procession is about to come in. And it will be led by the ordinance. And after the ordinance, we will have the serving team. Later, we will stand for the service, the invocation, and other things. But thank you very much. Banyabo neva sebo Ava gole nga bagi ndo kuyingira Muzikiri zentuwale yaka sera katono tono Kubanga nyizo butafu na mkisogo Ate ava wele zavai nza Kaveka singe Obuta chikola Na ye wano Saidi ya wano wemula ba We watu de Ava wele zava katonda Okuvira dala Kuyuganda Union Tambuli ya dala kubulabilizi owe nja ulo We are happy, let me make a little introduction here We have Pastor Odaga Damas Pastor Odaga Damas, could you just stand up Pastor Odaga came all the way from Northern Uganda He's Executive Secretary of Northern Uganda Pastor Odaga, thank you We had to make note of that because uh, your journey was really long We have some of the professors from Bugema University, they are sitting with us here. I can see Dr. Mukasa. Thank you very much for coming. Dr. Mukasa, God bless you very much. And oh, my professor, God bless you. Thank you. We are so excited to see you. Uh, Nava la lavanji nyoba kadeba fe okuva kubula virizi, okuva sabala virizi, Bugema University, nebi febirala, bali saidi yao. Ate, wano, waluwa Bugema University, batu dao, nabai musi zada, but because of the online audience, Bugama University, please again stand up. We are very proud of you. Thank you very much. Stand up again. God bless you very much. Thank you for coming. Saidi Awano, Waluo, Ava Saidi, Yam Kad Yom Sumbachi Gundu, Mwenava Nanga to Demu Avana, Avazukuru Abe Mikwano, Musokami Mirireko Katono, Namwe Mutu Bireko, Avari Muntevezino, Mutu Bireko. Aha Abo Kakati Atawa Saidieno. Beba musumba vita mazire na mumu imidire kutuba nilize Aha, kama yevali Aba sikate fena tuliba mikwano, aba urugande Saweno, aba gole bagenda kuyingira Chida yo Egenda kutuwa uru yimbo, uru amanyi Uru gendo kuyingiza, aba gole bafe Chida yo, central wire
Sako ate nafe kiyimiride okusa muka tonde chitiwa Nga tutandika niteka teke Guru lila gama nige Kagamba kamkoka Guru lila gama nige katonda Guru lila gama nige
you this morning we have come to worship you to adore you because you deserve our worship because you are our creator and our redeemer Lord we invite you through your Holy Spirit so that you will be leading in the whole service today bless us through your word accept the praises that we will be giving you through singing and also accept our gifts our offerings the tithes and also accept our hearts Lord because we, are, we have come men and women to worship you this morning to worship you this Sabbath day bless us all in Jesus name I pray Amen Jamisolo ya fe, not 
Tuwa kalo koba za urubiru njibiyo tuwa de Buchi anga teka kusikuno Kusuru waliru Uwebali Uruwe mere Ibi oku nyua Ibi oku ambala Imikisa juo tuwa Naro kusinge nyo Tukoba zolo kutegera Julika tuanda wafi Notu wa kungana na awi Notu wa umukisa Notu kuza Nga tuanda wafi Tukweka yila nga tukunganyo wano Kuita mwemu tukufu jangu vile mufi Kukusinza kwa fi Kukirizibwe masoko Ayo katuanda Kwali wabazizena obuzibu Kutegu angirizimu Habala bazizena indu wa digitaliza angirizimu Kukwe yikile muna ukutia Neye kumaka bazizena masoko atata Tukweka yile muka masika ni vizubi yawe Tuge ndo kufano, kabasa yusidua mugwe yesu. Tukwe wazulu wa bagenya wazuku ngana na bana wakatonda. Gewa suwizo mkisabatia, hawa kutira wa kuwata sabiti. Tukwe kaya yonubo kabine mkisabana wu, na bagenyi wafi, na wawo mkisabwe kumu. Tuwaza uruwe demedi watu wali okusinza mu Uganda. Tusabira kafumiti ya femukama, yongiru jikuma. Bawa magezi nga wakule mbela abantu wu. Baju kirenga buli jonti wakuru wawe Walu woka tonda asano kula mluwa nesonga Tusima nyolo buweleza we kanisa Kufa kujeno konferensi tuwa kulo kuchiachi Kule muweleza ina mkamanga kuweleza Kirezo mwomu kusu uweleza we kukirezi we masoko Nyaro kusingenyo mkama tukwa bazula atupe kanisa Na uwa kwa sizo mle mwogu inja ulo mula mbu musi muno Nebali ete miyo minji elio ulo kuzi Uro yuwa nechisacho kubibela muna bo Sabiti ya lilo ya njaula ya katonda Ngo simye Habana bo Fulaka chikundu Wa muna umuchala Ne Nicholas Bitamazire ya muna umuchala Oba ule Ubuwelezo wa kwenja ulo Fetuli bantu wa wakendo kolo mkolo Kuna ya katonda Nedu kwega ila Kwe katonda ya rondera Bako jese nga buo simye Kachisacho nobulu njibu Uyongi rupuwela muna bo Kwe wawo, haba gendo kolo mkolo kuna mkama mateka mkono kwa Kukufa mwogezi kwa lese, kukufa kudivision Naba labo na naba kuchituti Baji uza magizi na kutekera Jiba na yogera, hivi mutele yo kusasira Mkama mwolonji Kwa mwakusabira Haba na kuwa tizidua Haba luwa tide Haba jidua kenganda zawe Kwa mwona haba limuzi webi inja ulo Bule umumu kuna kumwa zupa ya katonda Tumutade mkono kuo, musasire, umusanyuse, mumbele ziku jarimu. Chensi ngo kusawai katonda chilichimu. Ndia mawifika na gafuka mide masogo. Gawo kubela vesi kwa masogo. Mkumere yenseno, eno tujukiranga, ubula mkuta kuwao. Chivane gairo mkisa kwa chitafe. Mamono manu mtukufu, kube na kisiko chavano wano. Kuwao na wakunganye musio na kuna kuluwa sabiti. Kukufa lero kusaru olida, mnyeresu kristo, umulo kuzi wafe. Sawa sinon.
tutuse mchisera echironji echo kutola kwebi ya mkama katona vya atu wade okumodisa nga tukole echo tuja kubanga tuimba obanga tutendeleza okuita mluimba orwechenda mwenya nja kusaba abadinkoni abetese tese okubanga tukole echo kansabe mwimilile webaze olwekigenda okuddako abadinkoni ngabagenda okutita mu bo bato ina basa nkusaba owaniko omukono gwo abadinkoni bajikutuseko kubanga ekirabo kya fetu kiteeka mu basa abadinkoni ne bakitujjako waliyo bo banga basa te yakutuseko owaniko omukono mudinkoni abadinkoni abantu abo mbalabe efana nabo etye basa Please try to move fast, Deacons. Kwenye kwa zuri mba chenda mnyia na chenda mtano Nga badini kwa ni batu hitamu Katuwe vazi urecho Tukwe vazi za mkama Nga tugenda okwe solo za mwechilavo Yogena na bulisa chino mkwe kusaba kwa foku hitamu Kwisa yesu mkama wafi Amina Chenda mnyia na chenda Be the home you're to take. 
Zizza, Kubango Kiriza, to Tolech Tonokuinji, your two a day, or quit a week and number, or come here home in Yumbayo. Where may be your causes, sir, Gomlimo Gogueta. Womuxa, Bulimukono, name me to day. Kubango Sanyo Kid and Meme Gabane Sanyo. While Womukama Katunda, Fababa got the Kuayo, Nayanga Tababa Denacha Kuayo, Vasasile, Mundi or Gudakum Kama, or Womuxa. Wabelemeredua, Rokulemere Rokobun to Quega, and Yonger Rokogan and Abo, Vaigiri Zenti Gori Katonda, Ram Kama Katonda for Tuam Muxa or Kola Munawe. A Chizid Duachirongo say, or Chisobos the Mukama Katonda for Cosa Seva, H. Gendi, which Gendered Wam Chiza, or Molimogo Gongero Kugaziwam between the Vienja or Nemi or Mi Yongero Quatibuaco. Disavanji Mukama Katonda for Change in Oxinga Quachiva today. Kwe kusabaka fa kuita mukwisi yesu kama afi. Amen. Kristo. 
mbaniriza kwa mwena mwenyari ya mkama wa fesi kristo mkama wa fesi tumweba za ate ya tuwadu wa mkisa netutu uko unakuruwa lironga tulibala mu elinyari ye lieva ziwe elati wewe chitibwa Ufuna njibobunde se mumasu gamu wano Kwe kwa niriza No kwa njura Abamu Kwa ntu abali wanonja kumenya kumanya gabwe Oba institution is the bava Abalala Tuja kwa niriza wamu Orobu de nga bufana na Ayugela na mwe Nze omusumba sechito nuwa Atuala ufusumba muno wena jana kumbi Mbani riza kwa mnyari ya mkama wa fesi kristo Awamu nange tukule mbila no msumba kato damiano Watu delu dawa Uhuri wali sebo tukwa niriza Mnyari ya mkama wa fesi kristo Tuina ono msumba kalebu Mbaba mulambuzi Njaga la kumusawa na ya imirileko no mchala Tuwa niliza mnyari ya mkama wa fesi kristo Njaga la kuwa niliza kwa yazi Ezili masu gafe, ezi weleza ako, nezi tanava Ezi joku weleza Njaga la kuwa niliza na jana kumbi SDH Church Choir Tuwa niliza nyo mnyari ya mkama wa fesi kristo Njaga la kuwa niliza abachidayo sento choir Mwebale nyo olobu weleza Njaga la kuwa niliza haba kadebe kanisa Betu kule mbeda na bo Wano enaja na nkumbi Nga wakule mbedua omukade stivi ni kawye Mba sabamu mwimirile kwa haba sobo doku yingira munda Awe wamuku wakadebe kanisa Habe enaja na nkumbi Tuwa niliza mwini nyari ya mkama wa fesi Kristo na haba chala wa mwe Tuwa gala okuwa niliza Wa omkule mbeze wa fe Tuwa la echitungu chino ekanisa mweli Chia mani ero siwanu Tulina ye Mwongedo kukuwa mina Sebo chia mani Elinyari ya mkama fili vazibwe Weba likujia kubela awamu na fe Tuwa gala okuwa niliza Haba kule mbeze haba lala Haba li wakati mufe Habe vyo bufuzi Bobanga wali Uliranga o ya nilizi bua Mulinyari ya muka mafesi kristo Tuwa gala kuwa niliza na haba kule mbeze wa fe Okuwa mbua kaba kaba abuganda Ye na aliwo mbitie vye nja uro Na we ulira sebo obanyabo Ngo ya nilizibua mungeri ye chitibwa Mukaniseno Ye na jana nkumbi Njaga la kuwa niliza Aba sumba abe nja uro Abali wakati mufe Na dala aba batari mbitongo le kubukule mbeze Owebike vye nja uro Njaga la mwe kubasa abana mwe mwimirileko Na aba chala abali uo Ndawa musumba Uwebali bawa bayi milide Katu wakuleko kwa amina Tuwa niliza nyo Naba sumba Horoko vila o kwa mwe Tuwa gala kwa niliza institution Nise zenja uro Hezi sobote Okubela kumukolo guno Tuwa gala kwa niliza Haba Bible Society Uwebali haba Bible Society Tuwa laweko Kale katulobo zenti ba ina webali Tuwa niliza mnyari ya mkama fesi kristo Tuwa gala kwa niliza bugema community Secondary university vocation Primary na haba labo na Haba liwo nisa watu wanike kumikono Tuwa niliza nyo bugema community Mwibari okubela ho Jagala okwa niliza Haba zati Habe njui zombi Habe mirundi yebidi Kwa saidi ya mama Saidi ya tata Hababa sumba Habagenda okwa ulibua 
olunaku olorwa lero njagala kusoka okwaniriza abazadde na oluganda abavudde ku saidi ewo musumba chigundu franka nja kubasa ba mu mujimirire ku tubongere ko kwa amina nga mukoye mango tubaniriza nyo elinyali ya mukama afiri bazibwe mwebale ate ne ku saidi eyo musumba mbita mazire na mwenja kubasa ba mu yimirire ko banange na mu tubaniriza nyo muri nyali ya mukama afiri kuruna kuruno rwesa nyu era olwechitiwa njagala kuddamu okwaniriza buli muntu yenna muri nyali ya mukama face Kristo uri rango yanirizibwa abali kubiyuma abatuvunulira na balala eri nyali ya mukama afiri basiwe mukisera kino njagala kubanjulira omulabirizi owa Central Uganda Conference amina I wali wali no kuzibuzibu Njagala kubanjulira omulabirizi owa Central Uganda Conference Amen Mulabirizi ye musumba Samuel Kajoba Amen Wali era wali kubanga wanu wawe nolecho njagala kumuwa mukisa ate akole okwanjula okuddako Bali wa basanyi soko mulo wako musumba so musumba bonna basanyi soko kula Basse bonne banyabo abana bakatonda sanyi soko bala bamulinyere mukama wa face Kristo Mukama mulungi atenna kuzonna kale mumpubire ko kinajira kimala nyere mukama wa fedi bazibwe Mulinya yo bula bilizi bono kwa sento kana conference Njaga lokutwala mukisa guno nango kwega taku musumba twala wano mwe nokubaniriza mnyali amkama afe so nokubaniriza mu chifochi ne chena jana nkombe kuna kuno lokusinza atoruliko esanyu elichitibwa kama wange sabala bizwe kana saba seven city mu Uganda omusumba doctor Moses Makani Muchika tulina yewe wano amune mama njaga lokubaniza mukama wa Yesu katubongera amine ya dala amina oyo kuruluwe njaga lakwimira wano mwenate lokubaniza mugere njawulo sebo tukwaniriza mbulabirizi buno we bale kujja mbulabirizi buno bulabirizi bwo owa Central Uganda Conference za Ukwani ili zabala bili zibo na habali kumukoro guno Njaga la kuangu ya Nganso kero kumpi ko Efotu poto si kumpi Na ye kumpi nyo Na ye ndavye msumbali soke ni mama Ntulo baso baso banye na ye kasaviva Situkema wa ubile ko Msumbali wama avamu West Buganda Na ye ni mama Na yari samwea Naotio Omsumba smogele ya vamo nothi buganda Avomo na Nange wendi Ne girlfriend wange na isi na ye Kansa baba uvi deko Avo Deko wapa kuata gana Wutelevu Nisha mara bili zoeo, ngabano mara bili zoeo. Walu wa muandisi, wabu wa muandisi, sababu de mula bizo wenja ulu. Kansani wa imirileko, naba wanika, wabu de mula bizo wenja ulu, ngo jieko kuno. Ndavi msumba sentongo, oya wa muwest buganda, ndavi chizito muwanika west buganda, uli muandisi, ndavi from north, northern Uganda field, is called pastor, pastor Odama. Then I have Kalisa, all the way from from Fort Porto. Hallelujah. I will be talking about Tako. 
Saba na bilizo kutu kilize mili mujie Akura neva departmentals Ampado buyinza Andazi semu da chika antono nyo Mbasabiba imilide Mukilize Mkozi sui chila giro chinene kati <laughs> Omu sumba chizito Ya kwa levi ugura muku Uganda yinyo nyo mchala <laughs> Lili ya ni mgeno ya singo kule mbela mi Uganda yinyo na kwa ya kule mbela hapa chala Batu kanti viva singo uunji Mama gujiro vila udaluja kuwayo nyo Ah uyu mchala jira vila udaluja Mama mchala kamiza gujia kuwayo Kakati omu sumba Samuidi Seba gala mkodomi wange Ya tuwala evi hapa Chaplains Ni vila ledu guwa mkati ya utupongo wakati ya plus plus Tumukubile kamina Ni no mkisokula baka wakulida Atudumi na mkubuli denjiri Mumbele Samuel Tuhubile kono mchala Mutuwa nga no mchala, batu kule mbila mbita kwa nengiri ndala yona Walu wa gindi dao nga stikiti <laughs> Omu kuma wanika, assistant treasurer Uganda Union Bemanchi ukete bulu nyumanchi, chisikita leze zaka so winza mampade mwachi sera Tukwa nilizizamu kama kama wafa iskusu Bawe deyo, ono usaba, ono usaba ya kulira Area Stewardship and Development Mwa saba la bilizi wono wa Uganda yona Nefu yeko Asika dewe nalese wa guru Asoka Pasa roja zika guwa Omchala alienu Haba weba kora kubie mpuli ziganya Plus plus Nyingara kuplus plus kubange minu mja fete juko maa oka Nga sinaba kuda kuhuli omchala Kwa nagami ajira nenda ko Wano wali uo mbuli zi omula la maka fini de Setuka wano mutaputa Na hika muanjuli leo wano kati Uye mkubi la amina ya taputa haba zungu Ya taputa na hapa dugavu Ulimiru ya gala wadamu Wetu ulire Sayi sokulaba mchala Wa VC Bugema University Nisayi nyuse Ukulaba kuhichiti wadamu Lila chie yuni ninga mrevye kuwana Aha Tukua aniliza mkamafu Nisayi nyusokulaba mkade wange Kasibante no mchala Musasi labo Abakade baba njada na yabo kubanga nange Bebantu wala mbaga la nyawo Muhimidire mkasibante no mchala DVC Finance Bugama University Sebo kiri zo imidire Musumba Bagambe William Luachi Sirekera Nzireno Onako na urasenyo Uraba ntuwa bali eno Na inga inakola chepata ntumie Na inga nkwaze sechu chena soma kumoto kaya liye kule mbede masu kwa inga fuga kumoto kaka anga kamifu muka manyi Ni moto kari ya mkule mbedi ya gamba, waliki chigambo There is always space at the top So ngeda kwa zisa space kubanga zimu la bilizi Mkule chibata antumie Chibata antumie kwa kubanga amanti ni msanyu fula wa goli wano Kubasi nze ni anjula wa goli Era anjula wa goli uja kolo mwini mungu na ina ange kubasi ya kuda Bano ya wa goli tuba anilizia mkama wa face Walue ya angea, nagani kajobabu li mutuwa inabu wa muhita, wali kwa ya njula inabu wa muhita, nange nesi angabu wa isanzi, kari kanta andike. Omugwele, ono, kwa vaita pita mazire, mutabani wangi, dada. Na no mchala. Mudiro walie wangi, wabira, kufada, 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 ni basu msa no mwana wangi, doktor, kajobabu, wabu, wabu, ya basu msa wangi, kufada, ilanga wabira wangi, kati ya wasiri, sifu nyemu. Ngena wa nene, ono chiku ni mkote nuwa. Yali kani nabwa kulaba Jennifer Ngazi Jennifer tuwele na yuku chaani Tuwaso mela uamu Lakumazi di mkulu nyo na uamu Nye tuwaso mela uamu Mfuna mulonji Kakati chitegeze anjo ono mkodo mi wangu Nolo ichyo Nisi sari mseveni sito we tuwaso mela na Jennifer Kati ni mseveni sito ndi mula bilizi Katate yali kwa saba na bilizi Chetufu nse musinga kwa kubanga manja ula da Nima genda ba ula li hiru Nolo ichyo Nisi sanyo kubanga E wafi Fetuliba Light College katikamu O B O G Same class Tulebe mfufene Nobu unga Obu ntabu anjirize kampala Na hindi musa nifuraba ntuba nu Kubanga Uluwari ro Chigenda Bagenda kuteku wake mikono Ulobu weleza Ata yudu nga daraba weleza Ichutichaba dembiba ntumia Njaka na kubanji ulida Uwa manamu mazei Mwadabilizi wa West Buganda Ono wa North Buganda Ono wa Uganda Union
kulida bia mpulisi ganya mama imiri la kakati nsasiro kwetuza omchalo ya kulida hawa chala baba sumba mwuganda yuni yoni hawa kulida hawa sumba na habera omsumba kamiza ye nanyili mkoro guno sobo tuweba nza tuwe nza tuwe nza tuwe Sebo, nange jienva, ni naba kuruba nange Kamba sendi yeyo, sebo yimidira Omusumba wa mkadoyo, omusumba razio Iyadiyeno, muyimidire Bufisas, omusumba cheyune muwani so mkuru Obra vizibunu mumutude Onare no muwani ka, miro, obra vizibunu mumutude But department was muyimidire kwa sebo na fetu yukari semu Luare lulu ka, mumutulego ofisas kakati Dr. Namugera, atenga msumba, ya tuwale vyo vila mumbo la vili zivono. Omchalo na omchala eh, sembus, avo, ya tuwale haba sumba, mumbo la vili zivono buwana. Ya tuwale haba chala baba sumba, haba kade ba makanisa, ba pike, na haba dinkoni. Labwe nina haba ntu haba kode milimu. Hedi yugwe nene seyo, nga wa departamento yu wafe, haa, bawe deyo. Uloku banga bawe deyo, ate kansembie yo, saba la vili ya umula. Umsumba wa fe Kisha na lideji Saro Sebo tukwa nilisa Ntia nyo Na yira kanche geze munga Sina zayu kazi ndalo Okukona kwelieza chibula Ntia nyo Na yika lira mkonyeko Na yisiba Afu na yisiba Kwa jaku mwanjula Na yichibula Baleka uwa uvira ko Kubanga banga yitu chari mkade wichirika Katisebo mkwa nilisa Mkitundu chichirika Baji ya kwa nilisa Mkitundu we pia Nangi de sobo la kupapira ko Sebo Omusumba kamiza ando uza kuyentuka Mba maze Aba sigade Kambareke Nga poga mwedi Otherwise Ya uomwelo kam Tu awa ministeri yo sekuritari Wa division ni na chosi choge denyo Na ye Mkama fiva ziwe Neanza msumba Bane natemba la msiza mkristo mkama wafi Nino mkisumu lala Ugoku itakuwa ya Ejeweleze Naja, naja na kumbi, church choir, majemu tendeleze mukama, wow.
Sera tuchukire ekigambo kya Katonda ngicha kwandikira chibwa cha fe chigenda kuva mu kitabo cha Ezekiel esula ya satumunya amaso tujagate ka kunyole 10 no rumu no rumene reading is taken from the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 will be reading verse 11 and 12. Let's pray. Tata Moronji, Jangu na toyo giri jetiru kita mchika ambacho, kuwa Yesu Kristo mkamafe. Kubanga, mukama katonda buwa yogira buwa atinti, laba, nze mwene, Nze ndi nonya ndi gazange na nzibu uliriza. Ngo msumba buwabu lize chisibuchi kurunaku uruwabe la mundi gazi za asanye. Buwentio buwendi uliriza ndi gazange. Era ndizi wonya muifobyo na jiza za asanira kurunaku urebile urechizikiza. Mkama au mkisecha wande kibwecho. Nchigambo cha katonda nga chicha alumatu uga fe Mukirize na ange ntualo mukisaguno 
Okubala msa kumuli nyari ya mkamafu yesu Amen. Tumwe waza atuwade sabiti yuru walero Eye nja ulo Atene tuberanga tituli wala wana Netuli na jana nkumbi Uru walero Lunaku lukuru Luwabiafayo Na ye Omulimu gumpere duwa ukoro uru walero Kwe kugate dobo zili yange kumisumba anuwa No misumba samwiri Na ange mba nilize kumuli nyari ya mkamafu yesu Tuweba za uru okuja Mwena mbitibia mwa Haba sumba angabu bako zio mulimu ugo Ovuna njizubo wange kusawe no Bwa kwa njura ate agendo kule mbeda umkoro Guno guru walero Nuru kubange bigambo bino Bia njogera nolimi uwe nkoze saa Tabigo veda bulonji mkirize Mpite Omusumba visa sono Tuweleko neiriwe tupatu usako Bakusanyo kidesebo I want to begin by appreciating and thanking Najan Ankumbi SDA Church and Leadership for always opening the doors of the church for us as Uganda Union. I remember the last time I was here, I was a function such as this, somehow similar. I hear I go. In the very month of November. I was here being consecrated together with my leaders for ministry as Uganda Youth. And even then you opened the doors. And even today you've opened the doors. An indication that this is becoming a union ceremonial church. Today we come again in the guise of ordination. And two of our union leaders chose no other church but Najan and Kumbe. And like Pastor Kajoba has already hinted, we have uh, two leaders of the Uganda Union, indeed two officers of the Uganda Union being ordained today into the ministry. And uh, the first one is uh, one, a young man indeed. I am, I am privileged to tell Pastor Kajoba that they are also my children. But now, as the world and the ministry is, they are my colleagues. Indeed. And I have a bearing upon the two. And I've been privileged to see them into the ministry as well. And today they are here being ordained. Pastor Nicholas Bitamazire. Pastor Nicholas Bitamazire. And Rachel Bitamazire. No Muchala, Rachel Bitamazire. Uh, the Uganda Union Executive Leaders, Secretary. It's the first time he's appearing before us as Executive Secretary. And Upon his election in Nairobi just uh, early this month, it so found him that uh, Bogema and, and North Buganda had already voted him for 
ordination. And so when this day came, we asked them to give them over to give them over to us for the occasion now. And Elder Frank Chigundo. Frank Chigundo. And Jennifer Chigundo. No, Michala, Jennifer Chigundo. I've served this church for a long time as we shall hear the introduction of the secretary. Bawere se kanise no kumala itsere langa butu na uli la msumba kamiza nga tuboli la ibiba kwa atako. But last year, umwa kugwa ita, in the union session that sat in uh, Entebbe, Murutula Lua Uganda Union Yuratu Lam Chibuga and Tebe. His name was suggested. But as you may know, the church ordination process takes goes through a number of stages. And so when his name was suggested, it has taken almost a year until now. Because for him, his ordination is a bit different. These two are being ordained into, into ordination today, but in different credentials. Pastor Abitamazire is being ordained into the gospel ministry. ministry and uh, Elder Chigundu is being ordained into the ministerial credential. Ate omukade Chigundu. Commission. Commission. Na ye alete dua mbuwele zogo. Our church policy is to plate. And... Uh, that pastors who are called into the gospel ministry are looked into and the church sets them apart after some time when they have confirmed that they have been called. That's what, that's what is commonplace for all of us. But there is another credential where when a past person is in head of an institution in the Seventh-day Adventist Church or he is in the treasury, they are also set apart for ministry. And we have done that before here in Uganda. We, we have ordained before the president or the vice chancellor of Bugema University under that credential. And so today we, the church has identified another to be ordained in that guise. And Elder Chigundu is being presented today and misses for that. And they have served this church for a long time. And today we set them apart to get married to the church for life. And Amen. 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 And so it is our pleasure that the person who has been identified to lead out in this function is not me this time. 
Si musumba mulabirizi Dr. Maka ekisera kino. This time because they are my fellow officers. Kubanga bawereza banna bagole we had to look higher to the next level of leadership. Twabadde tulina to kutunula ku mutendero gwo bawereza ogudako. And before I introduce him, let me make just one more mention of something. Because this is, uh, it is something uh, new for its first uh, occurrence. The treasury, biblically, should be led by one who is ordained. From since the Old Testament, the first treasurers were priests. This time, uh, the treasury has been taken away from the, mini, from the pastors. And the professional people sometimes who know nothing about ministry have taken over that, that ministry. The police and the Bible want to reclaim that into the gospel right of ministry. Because priests were the first treasurers and they were ordained. Amen. Amen. And so today uh, the, the division has sent us someone to, to carry out this function. And two people are here from the division one of them is our own. He's is one who has been working as a treasurer, as associate treasurer here. And they have told him not to go until he has finished this function. But that is Eliezer Chibura. He was taken away from us. Now he belongs to the regional body of the ECD. Today, the person who has been sent to us is representing the very president of the division. Pastor Dr. Blasius Ruguri. Dr. Blasius Ruguri. He was to be here in his own person. Because he is the ministerial chairperson of the division. But because he couldn't be able to come, he is sent to us his secretary, the ministerial secretary of the East Central Africa Division. Pastor Ignaz Habat Nziko. Pastor Edna Habat Nziko. Pastor is the ministerial secretary of the division the, who leads all the pastors. But he is a man of much experience in church leadership. Before being called to lead this docket at the division. He was the ministerial secretary of the South Tanzania uh, Union Conference. In Dar es Salaam. Tanzania Dar es Salaam. 
But even before becoming the ministerial, he served as the president of the Southeast Tanzanian Conference. As the president. And uh, before that, he also had served as the conference executive secretary. He served before as chief editor of a publishing house in Tanzania. He has also served as a chaplain of the campus ministries. And he also has served as a local church pastor. So that's as the man who has been rising from one level to an experience uh, to the other up to now where he is. Pastor is married. And his wife is a woman. Uh, together they have four children. And he's been able to to go through studies as well. He started from Tanzania. He went to Baraton. Now he's finishing his studies also at AUA. University of Africa. That's the person who has come to serve us today. How many will welcome him? The Lord bless you. Thank you. When his time comes, thank you. God bless you. Uh, Mr. President, the Union President, uh, Dr. Moses, Pastor Moses Maka, Sabala Bidiswa Uganda Union. We want to appreciate your committee, your executive committee. Twagala Okusima Nyo or Chiko or Kuru or Zanaro for accepting our recommendation from the Ministerial Council. Or what could it be? and mandating us to perform the, uh, the occasion of ordination. We want to appreciate Central Uganda Conference for giving us space. And we want to appreciate Najanankumbi Church for making this place ooze with the opulence to make our occasion memorable. Now, thank you, Mr. President, for bringing us the officiating minister from East Central Africa Division. And at this point, Mr. President, I want to introduce to our, our officiating minister Njagala Okwanjurida Omsumba Gendo Koro Mkoro Guno. And the body of Christ assembled in this church today. Nechibina Chaba Kirizaba to Deneva Kadida Lero. Doors to be ordained. Aba Godabo, Aba Gendo Kwa Uriwa. I will begin with the El, uh, Pastor Frank Chigundu Eric Rure. Nenda Kutandika no Mukade Elder Frank Chigundu Eric. And Mrs. Jennifer Chigundu Nabatanzi. No, Mchala, ye Jennifer Chigundu Nabatanzi. The executive committee has endorsed their ordination. And now I want to. To, make you, to, to, to let you know about them. We want first of all to appreciate the parents. 
who were able to plant the seeds that are, have, have germinated and, and flowered and fruited in, in, this, in this couple. Abatu zaliraba na bano ne mwa leda ne mwa yigiriza ne mwa somesa no kutu usaka katinga baba zebi bala okuwele za mukama. And we also want to appreciate the members who have groomed him, who have groomed them to come to this level. Tuagala no kweba zabo mwana baba leze okulaba angaba tuse mwa tuse. The schools they have attended. Amasomero mweba attende kedwa mweba yise. I will mention just a few. Nienda kumenya kama matone nyo. Mr. Chigundu, Pastor Chigundu. No, Mr. Mba Chigundu. He attended Makai University. Ya somera msetende kero ya makerele. Where he obtained a Bachelor of Commerce degree. Ya yonafuna yo ediguli mbiyomba lidida mbiyemfuna. He also. Era. Who went and pursued graduate studies? Nas for a degree in Okubidi in a celebrated center of learning, University of Solusi. Nagen, the University of Fiyekanisa, Eri Masolusi. This is a, a campus that. In Samvum Mokago, to Kapulukum Murenda, Samvum Masam. He came to this place as well. We have very much one who was for a unique dala and served as a teacher in the Najanankum Biyang Christian School. Now we are Zango Musomesa, Najanankum Biyang Christian School. Then. The call made him to go and come and serve the church. Ate awe ya iti wa mchenda mwana mchenda mwenda au jawele ze kanisa. He has served this church for 21 years. E kanisa na jwele ne za mu okumali miaka abidi mugu mu. In that capacity, during this time, mchenda mwenda. In that capacity, in this, in, in, during this time, you know, he has served as a, tre a treasurer of Central Uganda Conference. Abadda uh, wele zanga omuandi omuanika wa Central Uganda Conference. And from two, two, two thousand nine, okuva mukumi muenda to the to present, okutu saka kati is serving as the Uganda Union Treasurer. Yes, serve wanika wa Uganda Union. Yes, serve this this, this the, uh, in that capacity for fourteen years. Obuere zobo obuere zamu ni akakumi nena mugamba mutiya. Amen. And during these fourteen years, a banga di dey miya kumi nena. Uh, Uganda Union. Uganda Union. Uh, this, uh, our services have continued to be enhanced. Time will not afford to mention so many things that he has done for the, for that has accrued to us as a church through his service. But permit me to mention in the area of human resource. Every year the treasurer the, 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 his office Bulimwaka office sets apart a closure amount of money. To be able to up, to, to, to give mobility to the pastors. We sometimes join this church when we don't have even senior folk. But, but we have a call. 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 We Acquire the minimum qualification to join Bugema. Ela tubadde tu yambi wako kula bangu fune barua wachi ya kukiri zoku yingi na msetende kero ya Bugema. Over a hundred for a long time, over a hundred bursaries are offered every year. Bursaries ziwe ranga chukumi ziwa denga ziwe wa yuburi mwaka. To enhance, to uplift the pastors. Okula bikanga batu mbula obuwele za wabasumba. The teachers in the institutions. Na wabasomero, na wabasobe sabari masomero gekanisa. The medical workers. Na wabasawa wabari maruwa lilo gekanisa. 
business those who work in a business office across the territory and at different levels if you look some of us, some of us have benefited greatly from his service some of our names have some academic letters appended to them so, it was his direction that this had been possible. So the church has, from his service, the church has been, has, 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 has changing the, 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 the image. During this time, he has also served as the uh, ADRA country coordinator. And he has Already I introduced the, 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 uh, the uh, Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer, she's a, a banker. Thank you very much for coming. Mama Wevali. May the Lord bless this occasion. The, se the second person seated before us who is going to be ordained is Pastor and Mrs. Bitamazile Nicholas. Yemsumba no mchala Bitamazile Nicholas Bijirwa no mchala. Nachibuka Rachel Bitamazile. O mchala ye Nachibuka Rachel Bitamazile. Something that I have omitted, excuse me. I did not mention the children. We have faith in Narukwago. Shaira Nachigude Linda. Shaira Nachigude Linda. Susan Nakafero. Susan Nakafero. And Sara Namugerwa. Nesala. Namukerwa. Thank you for being good children. Now I, I turn to Pastor Vita Mazire. Kati Kanzira take on Sumba Vita Mazire. Pastor Vita Mazire. From Sumba no Sumba Vita Mazire Nicholas Bijirwa. He has a Bachelor of Science. Arina Tiburi Mu Science. With the honors from Makere University. He has another Bachelor of Theology with honors from Bugema University. He has Masters of Arts Religion at, from Adventist International Institute of advanced studies in in Korea. Alina ne digulie yobyo kubiri mu byedini eyo naye yagisoma na ikona kuna likono obumansuka yagifunira mu Korea. He is now a candidate. Kakano achali era mu kubangulibwa na tero kumaliriza for an advanced graduate degree.
If once there were just fine, if streets were no if my shoes would crumble, if folks steer the board, still I see. First of all, I thank you, the leadership of this church, for giving considerations to people according to their sizes. There are two pulpits here. But this one is a more fit for me. 
and it is like closer to people and that what I like to be closer to people let me also thank God for giving me this uh, opportunity again to come and serve uh, around Kampala Kampala. In fact, this is my fourth time coming in this country of Uganda. First time, it was many, many years ago, 2014, I think, where I visited the, our university, Bugema. When I was working with the publishing department. Then I came at Nairobi while we were working uh, the seminars on the global mission. But 2020, I came and conducted an evangelistic campaign in the suburb of Kasokoso. Kasokoso even yesterday evening I was there I remember the experiences and the love of those people of Kasokoso this is now the fourth time to come but I have not been in this area of Kampala so I count is as a privilege and also an honor to stand before you and present the word of God. Maybe let me bring you greetings from the division. Our president, doc, Pastor Dr. Brashas Ruguri, Pastor Dr. Blasius Luguri. In fact, is the one who should have stood here. But he delegated, as uh, Dr. Maka has said. So he is conveying greetings from Nairobi to you all. Pastor Dr. Musa Mitekaro. The executive secretary of our division is also there and he is wishing the best to you. Our, our treasurer. Pastor Johannes Olana. Olana is also here with us uh, though spiritually all of them they know about this occasion and other leaders and staff at the division they are aware about this uh, occasion my family is bringing greetings to you all. Number two, I want to congratulate the candidates for ordination today. Much has been spoken by Pastor Maka and um, by Pastor uh, um, Kamiza. Mm. But I want to have you an insight, give you a one insight. Pastor Dr. Maka has been explaining the, the question that why is a treasure, why be on the end? I will, I will not go to the details of the thing, but I have an insight, fortunately, this year. This year, 2023, has witnessed and is going to witness 
the division treasurer as a, an ordained pastor ngate omuwanika omukuru wa division awo yawulibwango omusumba and also the treasurer for bugema university is an ordained pastor amawulira amalunji no muwanika wa setendekero ya bugema naye musumbo mwaule here again comes uh, pastor frank Chigundu. So it is a normal phenomena in our church. Back in our country of Tanzania. In fact, to the best of my, of my memory, I remember three people. Accountants. Who were ordained. Two of them are retired now. One of them is still in service, active in service. Maybe this here may be the first experience. But it is a practice in our Adventist church, the church that we love most. I have a friend. Among you all here, the first person to come uh, to, to be in, to encounter in a friendship terms is Pastor William Bagambe. We have been working with him while I was in Tanzania. When I was president in the conference, he normally usually came there to save us from the division and we sort of modified even his name here you call him Bagambe but in certain places of Tanzania he is called Mwa Bagambe and he knows it so I recognize your presence and may God bless you before I open the word of God I am a lover, a lover of singing I am not very much a singer but I know a good music I am commenting the choirs uh, which have, uh, song, sing their songs here you are singing well all you are singing well but I have a song. And this song I would like us to sing all. I have only one song in Luganda. When I was preaching at Kasokoso, I used to sing it. And so I would like to invite you to, 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 to sing together with me. Yes. Here, here we go. I think you know this song. Mani muru mani. Yesu akoma wo, koma tutalem. Yesu akoma wo, akoma tutalem. Yesu akoma wo, akoma tutalem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when I say Maranatha, Bengamati Maranatha, you say Yesu akoma wo. Ngamwe mudamu nti Yesu akoma wo. Maranatha. Yesu akoma wo. Maranatha people of God. Yesu akoma. Yesu akoma wo. Maranatha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Katsabe. Our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, time has come that we need to read your word. We invite your Holy Spirit 
to be present in this congregation in our hearts so that he can be leading the thinking the meditation upon your word and the inspiration from you in jesus name i pray amen amen amen, amen. The title for the presentation this mo uh, this afternoon or morning Omutwe Ogobubaka in Chayalero is when God Katonda speaks Bayogera to the shepherds Eriaba Sumba. When God speaks to the shepherds Katonda Bayogera Eriaba Sumba. And the reading, uh, the selected reading comes from the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 34, verse 1 up to 6. We will base our meditation through that, uh, that passage. I will be reading this uh, uh, passage through the new literal translation you may follow from other versions of the bible but i will be reading new literal translation and the bible says then this message came to me from the lord Read in Luganda. That's why you are here. <laughs> okay. Then this message came to me from the Lord. These are the words from the mouth of Ezekiel. Verse 2. Son of man. Son of man. Several are places in the book of Ezekiel where God is addressing Ezekiel not by his name but by this phrase son of man and so he says son of man prophecy against the shepherds the leaders of Israel give them this message from the sovereign Lord what sorrow awaits you shepherds who feed yourselves instead of your flocks shouldn't the shepherds feed their sheep verse 3 you drink the milk where the wool and butcher the best animals but you let the flocks starve you have not taken care of the weak you have not tended the sick so all bound up the injured so you have not gone looking for those who have wandered away and are lost so instead you have ruled them with harshness and cruelty so my sheep have been scattered without a shepherd and, and they are easy prey for any wild animal they have wandered through all mountains 
and all the hills. And the Gazange, Zabulubu, Tiramosozi, Zona, Nemobuli Kasozi, Akawanfu, across the, the face of the earth. And the Gazange, Zasasani, Ramamaso, Gensiona. And yet no one has gone to search for them. Sotewali, Eazinonia, Newan Kubade, Okuzibu, Lidiza. The message goes on and on and on and on. But the Spirit has uh, chosen that we meditate today through these six verses. And the, the background of what is going on here was the fall of Jerusalem and the people of Israel being taken captives to the kingdom of Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylon. The city of Jerusalem is destroyed it is left in shambles God's people are scattered most of them including Ezekiel they are in Babylon few of them including the prophet Jeremiah are in Jerusalem and some of them are thinking to go to Egypt and so the message now comes to Ezekiel from God and it is as if God is telling Ezekiel that the, 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 the cause of this mess is the leadership of Jerusalem the leaders are the spiritual leaders the prophets the priests and the king hallelujah Amen. because these people were not able to guide the, 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 the people in the ways of God and so the mess has come we have many lessons through this passage but we are going to concentrate on two one of the first one God is concerned about the well-being of his people he sees and observes everything that is going on he sees how the leaders are treating uh, his flock he sees how the shepherds appointed by him to care for them are sometimes mistreating them that's why he is asking a question shouldn't the shepherds feed their, their sheep he is asking this, this is a question that nobody needs to answer and we have many questions of this type in the Bible the question implies the duty of the shepherd which, which was expected by the Lord to feed their sheep the Lord expects the shepherds to lead the sheep to take care for the sheep someone can ask after all this message was written years ago is it relevant today to us the answer is yes it is relevant to us today God is wondering what is going on here instead of feeding the flock 
with the milk the shepherd is drinking the milk instead of uh, clothing the sheep with, with wool the shepherds are clothing themselves leaving the sheep shivering in the cold it means the shepherds are not concerned about their assignments this is a message to us all to us as pastors and members of the congregation hallelujah the second point every shepherd every leader has been given definite duties by the Lord and the Lord expects him or her to be focused on them that's why in verse 3 and verse 4 he says you drink the milk you wear the wool and butcher the best animals but you let your flocks starve you have not taken care of the weak you have not tendered the sick or bounded the, up the, the, the injured you have not gone looking for those who are wandering away and they, and they are lost instead you have ruled them with harshness and cruelty this is the, the following is a job description that, that God offers the shepherd number one to feed and give milk to the sheep number two to clothe and keep the sheep warm number three to take care of the weak number four five number four to care for the sick Number five, to bind the injured. Number six, to watch for those who are wandering away from the flock. And also numbers eight, to seek those who are already lost. Above all, to lead them tenderly. To lead them tenderly. In this reading, it is as if God is disappointed because of the shepherds who are not focused to the uh, to, to what is expected of them. They drink the. the the milk which is a portion of the of the of the flock they take the wool from the lamb they leave the lamb shivering and themselves they are warming up with the wool they leave the sheep starving they treat them with harshness that is why God is so concerned because he appointed the shepherds and the shepherds now have neglected their duties and prescribed in their job descriptions and instead they have decided to subscribe I may say 
to the enemy side they have taken the name of the shepherd of God's of the of God's flock but they are actions are contrary to the name they have assumed. Let me repeat this. Let me repeat this one. They have taken the name of the shepherd of the Lord. But in their actions, they are contrary to the name that they are bearing. They are being paid by the master. But they are working for the enemy. We might have some pastors here. Am I communicating to pastors here? We might be being paid by the Lord. But our actions shows that we are we are serving the enemy. Come on, Pastor Zik, what are you trying to, to talk about? This is what I am talking about. I have a question. It is represented with a very long sentence. Let me read in your hearing. This is my thinking and my holy imagination. What is a point on earth? of being a pastor in this church paid for the uh, paid from the tithe and the offerings from these desperate church members gathered here and do the opposite of what God even the church members also expect us to do I am just thinking aloud. I mean, here, me, Pastor Nziku. Pastor of this church. I am being paid at the end of which month. I am being paid from the tithe and the offerings. That the church members are giving. I feed my wife and my kids out of the sacrificial giving of the church members who sometimes are going starving in order to be faithful to God and in order to see the church in prosperity. My kids are going to school because the members of the church have, have faithfully retained the offerings and the, and the tithe and while sometimes some of their children go to normal just public school we are put on this kind of a suit and is it is it this one? Members, this one. Mm. Is, it, is it smart? Mulaba Mutia. Tell it smart. This is your tithe. This is your tithe. Everything that you can see here. Even this one. Because I have no other business except serving this church. Even the shoes I wear. Even everything that I cannot mention here. Now the question comes to Pastor Nziku. Pastor Nziku, how 
Can you dare? O Yesu tia. Mistreat ukutulugunya. The source of your livelihood. O kugari nyate chekava. I am now communicating to those pastors who are very rude and harsh. Kakati mnjogere ya basumba baba to church members. Eliba member we kanisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us come to our senses, my fellow pastors. We are what we are. Because of these people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of these people. May God bless you. One day. When I was a district pastor, something went wrong. And there was a visiting choir came in the, in the church. The church was just a very small building. And so the choir of that church, they misbehaved some sort of. And out of my mind, I pronounced words which were very hard on them. Just in front of the congregation. Oh. And they looked at me. They didn't say anything. And when I went out, this church elder came. He said, Pastor, that was not good. What you did was not good. Oh, okay. Oh, I said, Oh, I did not do good. Off I went to the congregation the program was going on I took the pulpit and I confessed to the church members that what I have done is not becoming for the pastor to tell so the members and the whole church said Amen Hallelujah Amen Sometimes we pastors we think that we know everything. We think that we own the, the whole stock of wisdom that God has bestowed to you. No. The wisdom, the knowledge is distributed to people. Hallelujah. So my pastors, we need to understand that. That even the most humble church member that you despise or you look down on him or her, they have something communicated from God. And so we need to treat them in a very higher esteem. One day I witnessed my, 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 my pastor. This pastor was my friend. He is now, he, he, he slept in Jesus. But I was to, to go inside to preach. We were just like here. Outside the, the, the church, prepared, ready to go and preach. The church elder was here making announcements. When we are ready, I was going to preach that day. When we wanted to start going, a woman came. He was an, an, an old woman. He came. He went to the pastor, the church pastor. It, it, it seemed, it seemed that uh, there was some disturbance in his head. That he head that woman. So he went to the pastor. They were talking something we didn't understand. But the pastor said, "No, you should not go. Wait first." And we waited. And so the pastor started to listen to her. The woman was, I was watching. The woman was talking. He talked, he talked. And then she started crying. And the pastor took his handkerchief. 
and he wiped her, her eyes. Na sang amaziga agava masogo mchalo. After wiping the eyes, ukubalo kumsimura ko. He petted her back. Na mukuba And the woman now her face was smiling. Mchala na mwenya. And so we went to the church. Kaka taone tu yingidam. I said the pastor should be like this pastor. Nengat dalaba shumba tuandi matengo mshumba no. To take care of the flock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Son of man. Prophecy against the, the shepherds. The leaders of Israel. Give them this message. From the sovereign Lord. What sorrow awaits to the shepherds. Who feed you, uh, yourselves instead of your flock. The result of this mistreatment of the flock so many sheep have been scattered without a shepherd and they are an easy prey for any wild animal they have wandered through all the mountains and the hills across the faith of the earth and yet no one is going to search for them the sheep are scattered the church is disintegrated no unit in my church and me as a pastor I am there each church member turns to their way and the pastor is there they are an easy prey for any animal the members are easily taken by false teachers they are already gone and the pastor is still there taken by the popular gospel of miracles and prosperity and their pastor is still there they are wandering through the hills and mountains they wander from one church to another from bigger church to smaller churches and their pastor is still there they try this and try that and they end up in discouragement but they hold their pastor is still there no one has gone to search for them the pastor does not take trouble to search for them he is just there he is just searching issues from the social internet instead of going to the hills and the mountains and the desert to search for the members that's why God poses the question here what sorrow awaits the shepherds who feed themselves instead of the flocks my friends God is so concerned with these people because he bought them by his precious blood he bought them by the suffering that he, he experienced at Calvary God has a strategy in place against this kind of shepherds when you go to verse 10 Ezekiel 34 verse 10 this is, the, this is uh, what the seven, the seven Lord says I now consider these shepherds as enemies and I will hold them responsible for what has happened to my flock. 
I will take away their right to feed the flock. And I will stop them from feeding themselves. I will uh, rescue my flock from their mouths. The, the, the sheep will no longer be their prey. This is the strategy of God, the plan of God against this kind of, of shepherds. They are considered as enemies of God. They will be responsible for what has happened to his flock. They will be denied the right to feed the, the flock. They will be stopped from feeding themselves at the expense of the sheep. And also the sheep will be rescued from their mouths. And the sheep will no longer be the prey for the spiritual monsters. Hallelujah. Good news. Good news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have talked too much about the shepherds. When uh, you will go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, when you will visit uh, verse 7, 17 I mean you will find that the word of God is a sword with the two edges and so it reads verse 17 NIV as for you my flock this is what the sovereign Lord says. I will judge between one sheep and another. And between rams and goats. Is it enough for you to feed on the good pastures? Must you also trample the rest of your pasture with your feet? Is it not enough for you to drink clear water? Must you also muddy the rest eh, with your feet? Must my flock feed on what you have trampled and drink what you have muddied with your feet? This is a message now to the congregation. Hallelujah. You are not safe also with this message. The Lord here he says, We are two kinds of animals. Some of them are rams or lambs, and some of them are goats. Goats and lambs. Please return to your friend. Ask him or her. Are you a goat or a lamb? This morning, we are bought by the precious blood of our Lord. All of them, they are here. Some of them, when you see them during the worship service in the Sabbath, when dressed, but allow them to speak a word. 
looks like a lamb. But when he speaks, he speaks like a. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, my pastors, we need to imitate the pastorship, if you may, of Jesus Christ. Because in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 12. Jesus said, yes, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. We need to imitate the pastorship of Jesus Christ. Because these church members need, need, need us. They need us. And especially this time, members who are coming in the church, most of them well educated, they are here, burning through these 20, 20 or something years, during the age of technology. And when you use the, the principles of the Old Testament, Testament the generation is, uh, is different. They are as if they are slippery, some sort. And we, elders of those ages, we try to to, we try to, to, to find even a, even a rope, a string to pull them back. But unfortunately, the ropes, the strings are slippery also. I tell you, we need Jesus now than ever. We need the Holy Spirit now than ever. Even the church members, in order to associate with each other in a Christian way, we need Jesus Christ more than ever. An advice from Ellen Dwight. The characteristics of a good minister. Number one. Number one. Consecration. Consecration. In the review and herald of April 5, uh, 1895, 92, Ellen White, Ellen, Ellen White wrote, What we need in this time of peril is a converted ministry. Hallelujah. Let it be your prayer, my, my pastor, that every time, every day, make me a Christian day by day. And make me a pastor, a minister, day by day. The Holy Spirit is able to do and is willing to do that. Number two, self-sacrifice. Jesus sacrificed himself for us. Yes, In the, the Testimonies, uh, volume 4, page 442. Testimonies, volume 4, page 442. The work of the minister should be pursued with an earnestness, energy, zeal as much greater than that, or, than that put forth in other businesses' transactions as the labor is is more sacred and the result more momentous. Jesus yes, business of taking care of the Lord's souls is more important than the other businesses. Number two, the pastor should be compassionate. compassionate. What a wonderful Jesus expressed in his life, mission, human life. 
Tulabanti Yesu Chingaya to be Kurida or Kwagaro Jesus Christ expressed through his words and actions the compassion he had about the life of human beings. He stood not among the people as a king. Yeah. Demanding reverence or uh, service, but as one who wished to save them and lift up humanity. Yesterday evening, when I was preaching in one church in the vicinities, vicinities of Kampala, we come across a verse in the Bible. Bible, which says Jesus himself yes. in all points he was tempted as we are being tempted now and yet he didn't sin and that's why he is qualified to be our high priest. And so we pastors, we pastors are the representatives of Jesus Christ. Our ministry to the congregation should be an imitation of the ministry of Jesus Christ. I should minister unto the church member to, le to the level where the, the, the member ministered on to can he be able to say Jesus has been here today and Hallelujah. And it is possible all are possible by the power of the Holy Spirit in our heart number four positive attitude. We need to have a positive attitude to every one of us. Ellen White in the book uh, Science, to the uh, Science of the Times, this magazine, January 3rd, 3rd of January, January 1884. She said, Yagamba what? Satan will work by any end, every me, by any and every means. It is Satan again that causes somebody in Gary or Nera Mungeri or Nah, which he can employ to discourage the servants of God. Mungeri or Naja again or cause the Soklabanga, Amala Muamani, Abawere Zabakatol. If the shepherd can be beguiled from his duty, from where is the Musumba Kasinga Soboro Kubi Sibwa, Kubuere Zab and Obufana? Then the way for the wolves. Will be clear for for the, for the for the wolves to scatter and devour the sheep. We need to be connected to God. We need to be connected by the Holy Spirit. Number five, dependability. A pastor should be dependable. Yes, a pastor should build a trust to the to the members. The members should build a trust to the pastor. I should uh, win the confidence of the members. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number six. Humility. 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 Like Jesus, he was very, very humble. We need to be humble. We attend the class of Apostle Paul. The way he was humble. We, did, we need to learn from the pages of the life of Moses. How he was humble. Number seven, the last one. One. this is the last one, I promise you. Responsibility. 
the pastor should be responsible. In the review and herald June 30th, 1891, no part of the minister's duty is to be neglected. Let, uh, he is to preach the word not the opinions of men he is to labor with individuals he is expected to visit families not only to talk for the common happenings of the life but of the things it, of eternity no interest. Praying with, with them. Teaching them with all simplicity of the truth of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I came across one pastor. A young pastor. He had a congregation of uh, Almost uh, 2,000 members. One church has 2,000 uh, 2, members. And the additional other small churches. I was asking him. In the city of Dar es Salaam, which is very busy. How do you manage to visit all these people? Have you visited all of them? He said, Pastor, I give you a chance, I will call them all to come. I will draw the attention of all people here so that you ask them a question. And this is the question. Go and ask them if there is a member in this congregation, this quarter, whom I have not visited twice. Tell him to come to me. I will not do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is possible. Hallelujah. Let us visit them. This week. Week let me see by the show of the hand who have been visited by the pastor this week raise, raise your hand wave those are good for you and good for that pastor hallelujah good for that pastor who would like to be visited by the pastor can you see pastors? They need us. Hallelujah. But we talk. Yeah. <laughs> this is the end of my presentation. In a nutshell, God is very very much concerned about the well-being of his people and he has appointed us as ministers and given us the duties and he expects us to be focused on the duties and also the members never member the Lord says, be like more of a lamb than of a God. So that you can make this pastor's uh, guide or take care uh, of you with peace at least. And you know, when you go to introduce a pastor somewhere, a young pastor, if the pastor is not married, the members say this pastor has no experience. How can he come to me to advise while I'm married and have a family? Okay. 
The pastor now is an adult. They say, oh, this pastor is a dictator. And, uh, oh, my Lord. The pastor now is preaching without uh, 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 preparing a manuscript. They say he is preaching from his head. Now here comes the pastor who is reading like I am doing here. Uh, this, pastor, this pastor is not competent. You people, you will kill us. <laughs> you will kill us. Hi. Now, when they comment about the pastor's wife now. Ha! Did you see the, 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 the pastor's wife? This Sabbath. The kind of a, of a gown he put on. She put on. God have mercy. You people, you will kill us. We are just human as you are. Our wives are just normal wives. Our children are just children. But unfortunately, the expectations that you have put, the spiritual standard, the, the conduct standard that you have set upon us and our families, it is as if. Our DNA was a mixture of the DNA of the angels and the human beings. We are just human beings. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Kanisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Congratulations again. For the candidates of ordination today, ordination will not impart to them an excessive Holy Spirit or power or anointment. But, but, rather, but rather it will add up on their duties so we need to pray for them and be very careful to congratulate them be careful with the words you use to congratulate them you might kill them by your congratulations. <laughs> One day, a mosquito, in, in a mosquito kid, in a small one, in and you know mosquitoes are waking at night. I don't know why. So she reported to her mom in the morning that this night was a success to me. Oh, oh, because every house I visited, people were applauding. They were, they were, they were clapping hands on me. And the mom said, wait, 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 wait. Mama, like, hey, 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 hey. They wanted to kill you. It is because they missed you. You may congratulate us. You may esteem us. And only end up killing us. So take that word. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'll invite the 
Candice come over. Our Goliba Fake and by Itemo Jewano to make the pledge. Mukolbe, a Vida Yrobia Mue. presence of God and his people we shall make our response and pledge for the pastoral ministry we present ourselves today to Jesus and to his church we recognize that the gospel ministry call of the Seventh-day Adventist Church does not exist for the purpose of conferring special pri privilege or status, but by living a life of dedication and service to God, to his church, and to the world. We promise that our personal lives and responsibilities for our work shall be rooted in the word of God Amen. and submitted under the Lordship of Christ. Amen. We are fully committed to uphold the foundations of the faith of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Amen. We are committed to uphold the highest standard of conduct consistent with our work and also that are commensurate with our ministry. We aim to build relationships in accordance with the principles laid down by the teaching and life of Jesus Christ. Amen. By God's grace, we will incorporate these standards into our lives and we will do the following. We will maintain serious life of prayer for ourselves and for our families. We will devote all the time and attention to this service and treat it as our special task. We, will, we are committed to continuing learning and to develop our pastoral expertise. We will establish 
and maintain the professional relationship of support for our fellow pastors. We will remain steadfast in maintaining pastoral secrecy. We will support the office that hired us and the universal church. We will faithfully manage our personal and church finances. We will take care of and serve our families as a fundamental part of our ministry. We will live by the principles of faith, we will of health. We will clearly, cleanly relate to people of the opposite sex and our own gender as well. We will respect everyone's dignity without prejudice or bias. Finally, we will love those who serve, those who we serve, and are dedicated to helping them grow spiritually. God help us. Amen. You've been witnesses today as these ordinances have responded to what the message was calling them into. You are witnesses today when they make a vow of commitment to God, to the church, and also service to community. It is time now that the church takes up the responsibility, having heard from them, having heard their commitment, that we dedicate them on this journey that they are taking, that we commit them before the Lord to go before them and always with them. I'll at this moment now call upon all the presidents who are present here. May I invite you to come and join with me. All the presidents. Abalabi Dizibona, Abaliwano, Kamba Yitiba Jiba Twega Teko, Mobuere Samono. The presidents will be behind them immediately. May I invite Pastor Lidechi to join us as well. And at this moment, allow me to invite every ordained minister to come over and finish up this circle. request the ordinance to kneel down with their spouses. I'll ask the pastors also to position yourselves besides them so that uh, you can be able to touch someone if you cannot reach them.
let us pray. I will ask the congregation to rise up on their feet because we are representing you as we dedicate them. Don't touch them. Oh, no, 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 Let us pray. The eternal God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son and the Holy Spirit, we assemble in your presence on this solemn occasion when two, indeed four, of your servants are here being called into the gospel ministry and being set aside by you through your Holy Spirit. We want to thank you for at the very beginning when man fell in sin you deemed it fit that you would not bring angels but sinful men to be able to be channels of your blessing and grace to humanity. And you have chosen weak ones like us to be able to stand as ministers of thine before you and before your church to the world. And today, Heavenly Father, on this solemn occasion we assemble to dedicate these, your sons and daughters, before you, that you will accept them as ministers of thine. Amen. We bring before you, our Father, brother Nicholas Bitamazire and his wife. We bring before you, brother, Frank Chikundu and his wife. These two today, Lord, through the time you knew by yourself, through the Spirit, you called them to be part and parcel of your ministry here on earth and within your church. The church has been taking a look at them. For years now, they have been looking at them. And Lord, today they have pronounced that these be set apart, be consecrated for your service. We as ministers who have gone before them, we fellow human beings and fearful, sinful ones that you have set aside before, we congregate here on behalf of your church to raise our hands, to lift our hands upon these servants of thine. Lord, we pray that may these hands be hands blessed by you. Amen. May these hands be hands of blessing. Amen. May these hands be hands of setting them apart for your service. Amen. May these hands be hands of responsibility. Amen. And may these hands be hands of service. Amen. May these hands be hands of holy ordination. Amen. That today, Lord, these will be ordained in the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That today, these will be set apart for your service. Amen. That they will be servants of thine, but also servants for your church. May you consecrate them unto yourself. May you protect them for yourself. And if there is any dross, any sin in them, Lord, we pray that you wash them clean. We pray that you may give them humility like Jesus Christ. We pray that you put their, your word upon their tongues. We pray that you will bless their hand, that when they raise their hands also up, that these hands and the blessing they bring will be of hands of healing, hands of blessing. Now bless them. Keep them together with their wives, that they may be set apart for work within your church and work to the world. May honor and glory be to you now for them and forevermore. We thank you and praise you as we dedicate them to you alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. request the congregation to now take up your seats. I will request the pastors before you go 
Pastors, before you go on behalf of the church, I want you to welcome your brothers uh, into the ministry together with their wives. Shake their hands. And welcome them. I pray that you. All right.
the Lord. Amen. I am standing here on behalf of the church, Seventh day Adventist Church, which is giving you, the ordained pastors, a charge. I will be reading. Pastors, God has called you to pastor to pastor a work and the church in recognition of this call has consecrated you by laying on hands on you. You have been given a full authority of the church. There can be no greater honor given to a human being than that. But this honor has borne a great responsibility. I charge you, therefore, to serve as servants. As servants, make the Lord the subject of your whole life. Know what you are teaching, but first of all, know the Lord. By spending time with Jesus, you will become like Jesus. It is by watching we become changed. A disciple is not above the te this te his teacher, nor a slave above his master. It is enough for the student that he be like his master. If they have called the master of the house Belzebub, how much more will they call them? It is not more of those who are of this household. As servants, live as your Lord lived. Like Jesus, live simple life. If in your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Jesus Christ, who being, very uh, being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage, rather he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. This is from Philippians 2, 5 up to 7. Join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. That is Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 and 4. Like Jesus, be what you expect others to be. Do not let anyone look down upon you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. I charge you to serve as shepherds. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired man runs away because he is a hired, he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. That is John chapter 10 verse 11 up to 13. Be shepherds not a hired man. Work for the sheep. 
not for the money. Love Christ above all things and he will help you to love the stubborn and fugitive ship as himself has loved you. But be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. That is Timoth the second Timoth chapter two verse twenty four. Remember your families are your first flock that you were given to care for. I charge you to serve as guards. As guards watch out. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the people of Israel. So hear the word I speak and give them warning for me from me. When I say to the wicked, you wicked person, you will surely die and you do not speak out to dissuade them from their ways, that wicked person will die for their sins and I will hold you accountable for their blood, says to them, as surely as I live, declare the sovereign Lord I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather that they turn from their ways and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways. Why will you die, people of Israel? That is from uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 7, 8, and 11. As gods lead the way and Jesus said, you are not chosen, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That is John ch chapter 15 verse 16. I charge you before, the, before God and therefore, and before Christ, who shall judge the living and the dead? by his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word and be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all patience and doctrine. But you keep your head in all situations. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry this is according to second timothy chapter 4 verse 1 2 and 5 i charge you to serve as teachers teach pastorally by giving seminars to participants and leaders and what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses and trust it to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. This is according to Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. Teach with the mind by being readers of the books and disciples of the word all of your life. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. That is verse 15. And I think you have the background of this verse. Teach fundamental doctrines. Remind them of, this, of these things, brothers, so that you will be a good minister of Christ Jesus. And through in the words of the faith and the sound teachings of the, of the, uh, that you followed. Take care of yourself and your teachings. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in because if you do, you will save both yourselves and the hearers. That is from 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 16. Teach them clearly and practically 
so that even the youngest children can listen and understand. Take heed to yourself and to all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you to be overseers, to feed the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. This is according to Acts chapter 25, uh, 20, verse uh, 28. A poet, James Montgomery, summarized this message, and here I read. We welcome you in the name Jesus, our glorified head. Come as servants. That's how Jesus came. And we receive and we receive you on his behalf. Come as a shepherd's feed and care. His flock against hell and the world and sin. Feed the lambs, feed the lambs. Those who are wounded, heal. And those who are lost, return. Come as guards, stand firm at the top of the tower in the middle of the sky and when the sword is, is, is against the land call us to fight or warn us to live come as teachers sent by God with his advice to proclaim raise above the ranks the role of the prophet when we stretch out your hands in prayer. This is according to Montgomery, a poet. And when your work is done, you may say with Paul, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my cause. I have kept the faith. After this, I am crowned with righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. And Jesus bless you. Thank you. Oh, good day, good day. I'm going to say that I'm going to say Ensonga biri zoka. Tuzimali dize. Nanja gala kusaba abagendo kudako. Ensonga zino tuise mbuangu. Kubanga tetuwa gala ate kuita basawo. Nga waliyo abatondo se. Kansabe kusawa weno. Omusumbali dechi. Gwendo o zanti ye veteran ya liwo. Ajie ya kuase. Abakuru vanengabo basi wolo gendo kweri za mkama ngaba jude haba na muyamba ko njaga la kusaba banguwe mangu omsumba asobole ukwasa haba gole bafe pasa kamiza may I request you to expeditiously get that done as pastor Lidech is doing this I will also request our friends from the Bible Society of Uganda who are our partners in the ministry to also bring their tools and special gifts to us and with that we want to praise God for you and thank you always for whenever we have ordination services the Bible Society always comes to be able to encourage us and to assure us that we are partners in the ministry. Bible Society immediately follow Pastor Alidechi. This is the certificate, certificate of ordination. And it has got a commission to you. I'll not, I'll not read all the words, but I will encourage you to read, both of you, when you take the certificate home. God bless you. May God bless you.
This is the minister's manual. It will guide you as you lead the church to be guided by the principles in the church manual. May God bless you. May God bless you. You have to read the Bible. Pastors are paid to study the Bible. Read it and teach it. May God bless you. And this is pastoral ministry. It will guide you as you do your ministry of the pastor, as a pastor. May God bless you. Um, the shepherdess. This is going to be helping you to do your shepherdess in the ministry with your husband. May God bless you. This is the gown. Soon you'll be baptizing. And you put on this. And you go in the waters and baptize. May God bless you. Certificate. Brother Nicholas, this is your certificate, certificate of ordination. You are now an ordained minister. May God bless you. God bless you. This is the Bible. We are paid to read the Bible and to teach the Bible. So continue as a teacher, but as a minister, study the Bible and teach it. May God bless you. May God bless you. Minister's manual? No. Yeah, this minister's manual. Study that and teach the church how to behave. How to behave. May God bless you. May God bless you. This is pastor ministry. It will guide you as you do your, as you do your pastor ministry in the church. May God bless you. May God bless you. The shepherdess. This will guide you as you do your work of shepherdess among the ladies, but with your husband. May God bless you. <laughs> Brother Vitamazir, I don't know whether this, this fits you, <laughs> but it will. You are not, you're not so, so tall. May God bless you. This is the gown which you put on when you are baptizing. May God bless Can we you. put our hands together for Pastor Lidesi? You want to thank God for you. Pastor, thank you. Thank you and God bless you. It's now time to invite the Bible Society where Pastor Lidechi is also the chair of the Board of Trustees. I'm also on the board. We will request you to please hand over the gifts. We are welcoming you to the ministry Another Bible coming from the Bible Society. Okay. You've got names. May I invite Pastor Kajoba to That's join me now? In this one. Okay, we shall take. Yes. And this is this is this is um a women's Bible. Study the word of God in that one and be blessed. So this is for and you this is yours. And Brother Nicholas uh, from the Bible Society, you are we are giving you another Bible to study and to teach the Bible. And this is to Mama. You also, that's your Bible study, and also teach the ladies and young, and young ladies. And God bless you. Your certificates. Um, this is for Brother Frank. This is also from the Bible Society. We, we want to recognize you as pastors in the Seven Elvis Church. Yeah, Pastor Nicholas, this is yours. 
May God bless you as you serve. May God bless you. Uh, Brother Chikun is already uh, a member of the uh, a member of the Bible Society and uh, a life member. Life member. Mm. Are you a life member yet? Soon, soon. And like both both even the ladies to be members of the life of life membership in the Bible Society. Thank you, Pastor. Thank, Thank you. you, Pastor. Can we say an amen for Pastor Lidechi? <laughs> I want for accountability purposes the Bible Society to, to stand for a photo to tell your bosses that you delivered the gifts. Kathy, uh, can you position yourself? Yes, sir. We don't want you to lose your job. Accountability is very important. Pastor Kamiza, can you fall in line, please? We want that done quickly. Thank you. That is done. Uh, holding the... Ngatucha ina bagole ba femumaso, njaga la kubeba za abatuwa debidabo. Abagole ba fenga ba chali maso njaga la kusaba omusumba wa conference eno uh, pastor Kajoba ate atuyambe okukwasa abagole ba fwe bidaba bidala ebivudde mu bawereza aba Uganda Union no kwetolola omusumba sebo nsaba mu bikwaso omusumba abibawe At the same time, I request Pastor Nziku also to come because there is a special one for, for you. Pastor Nziku. So, Sumba Chigundu Nomchara, Tinichirabo, Chivo de Uganda Union, Nabo Ereza, Montecateke. Kansavera, Omravidizi, Aqua Seum Genua from Kuru, Chirabo, Kurwe Kansa. On behalf of the church in the entire Uganda Union mission, this is a small token of appreciation in recognition of your coming and the work you have done and the services you have rendered. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Njagala kubeba zolo bugumi kiriza. Njimi ride wano, nga njagala kubeba police person. Uluo kwa nguiri zenso nga zino. Enso nge semba yo, ya wede yo kubeba za. Enso nge semba yo, ya kubani riza. Njagala kusaba, kusaa weno, haba koze kukwani riza, haba sumba bafebano, baje. Njagala kusoka, ania soka sebo msumba. All right. Njia kusoka, haba chala, haba jiba anirize, haba chala haba nawe, tewe tunamalao, tudeku vame. Our sisters, you're welcome. Welcome to the minister's spouses. Welcome to the family whose spouses are consecrated to the service of the gospel in the Church of Seventh-day Adventist. Welcome to your spouse's service team. In the Garden of Eden, it took both Adam and Eve to fully reflect the image of God. In pastoral work, it, re 
acquires the strength of a husband and discernment of, a, of the wife in order to fully represent Christ in the church. The service of your husband needs you, whether they know it or not. As much as you can, work with them to build a service team that satisfies both of you. Your unity will be an example for young people, an attraction for those who do not believe, and a source of support for those who seek advice. Welcome to your own services. You do not expect to do everything that is supported by the church and perhaps even by your husbands. There will be things that you will not do. No one should, ex should be expected to do everything, but every church member can do something. I encourage you to look for your position in the ministry and fill them. Don't try to be everything to everyone, but consecrate yourselves to be all that God, can, God wants you to be. Welcome to the challenges of pastor's wives. <laughs> the loneliness and isolation that come with a lot of moving and the uncertainty of whether having close friends in the church is right or not. Feelings of inability, fear, that you will not be able to smile when you have to smile. Say the right words or have all the gifts that participants rely on. Desiring privacy when living in a home with no privacy. Always expect to be an example for others when even you yourself, yourselves are not sure of who you are. Tear up your tears for people who don't care about your services you do for them. Limited budget for a packed, a packed schedule. Stress Stresses when you want to shout for defense, when your husband is attacked and all you can is to bite your lips. Welcome to the joy of the wives of the shepherd. Yeah. Living, living with people who, though imperfect, intend to be committed to Christians. Be a part of your husband's work at all, uh, at will. Give the gospel, giving the gospel to people. The only thing that can answer all the needs. Feel like you have done something to the work that is important. To be needed. Knowing that living to serve, while sometimes discouraging, brings great satisfaction in life. Know that your members love you. Many pray for you every day. Note that Jesus will never let you down. And that you can trust him. Knowing that God planned it the day before you were born, he has brought you 
He has not brought you to ruin, but he will give you everything you need to do whatever he wants you to do. Please keep in mind that your colleagues, pastors, wives, we pray for you. We, we are committed to providing exceptional support. You're welcome. Amen. And I request you as you exit to give them a pastor's wife's hug. As they go, may I call upon the one to welcome the pastors to take the platform. It would be good also some pastors to escort him as he does it on behalf of the pastors. My dear pastors, it is our great joy to welcome you into the fraternity of the ordained ministers of Uganda Union. We welcome you on behalf of your union and on behalf of the church in the world. Be obedient to his guidance. Let your service help you in your endeavors. Do not lose sight of the purpose of our mission of the three angels' message, the everlasting gospel, to preach to those who dwell on the earth and every nation and tribe and tongue and people as found in Revelation 14, verse 6. We welcome you on behalf of your fellow pastors. Every problem or disappointment you will encounter some pastors have already encountered it and overcome it. Let each of you choose one of these pastors to be your pastor. Permit your fellow shepherds to watch over you. We welcome you on behalf of the churches you will serve. They have a right to expect the Lord from us. It is encouraging and comforting to remember that their prayers are sent to heaven for us. And we look upon them as our fellow workers in the conversion of souls. As a soldier of Christ, you will not run out of bruises and scars. None of us can avoid that. But in the end, when we stand victorious on the sea of glass, with those who worked for and the hand with nail scars of our commander will press upon us, uh, upon, uh, upon us his scars. To us, our scars will seem very, very small compared to his. When we hear him proclaim, well done, good servant and faithful servant, you were faithful with a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joys of your Lord. As found in Matthew chapter 25, verse 21. Listen to in this sacred service. May God bless you as you serve him. I pastor's hand. Pastor's hand. I welcome her. All of you. Favors, 
era bonna tubukute bulungi nze kinkalubiride mu kwe ku chukira neibawo omubuzo oboli ndiga oboli mbuzi ngenze okutuna wetu denga de kisoboka <laughs> na yetu agalo kuyimirira tumalirize ekitundu kino no luimba namba 12 mwenda mukama bawo mukisa Kumi ya vili mutano, msonyo yukati. Thank you, our Lord, because you have been with us in this service today as we disperse. Lord, be with us, be with every one of us, bless us with the blessings of the Sabbath. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Abemikwano. Nsaba mtule mkama wafee bazibwe nyo Bakade baangeba no Actually msigali nga mimi ride Bakade baangeba no bagenda kufuruma Kusawe no Nafe Njakupala girira engeri jetugenda Okufuruma We want to congratulate The The ordinance on this Wonderful and great achievement Bana nge tupa kubira kumu ngalo Tugenda kufuruma Mungeri ye nteka teka uh, Solomon, mkugambi mpuru yi mba sibu Tututu mabalala Abakade bange ngenda kudamu kubasaba Era mfurume butere vuali We muna afuruma Mujia kutambula ao Tujia kubaye bifana nyi Then tujia kudawano Kale, katugende Banyaba neba sebo miimidire Abakuru nga bafuruma Atene abawele zabo naba jabba gobelira Mujia kutambula babiri babiri Yes <laughs> Onward Christian soldiers Onward Christian soldiers Marching us to war Banange nga mba uvira kava gole bafe Bata andi sorugendo ruamanyi Ava gole bafe uvira vangevi okusaga na esebo 
Sheba genda ko Fetu chimanyaba mu Bafumbi duwe kanisa Lubere ra Tebacha dama vega Abebi fana nyimu yizo genda wali Abagole burijoba baku bebi fana nyi Abasumba the rest of you stay the rest of you stay in your places Uncle Dan Kamale okwe viragiro wanukubaba tuwa genda kwa furuma banange muwebale nyoka ambasabe mtuure muwebale nyoka sigurava gore tuwa galo kweba zenyo enyo enyo banafe ababade mu extension eri muwema muwebale nyo muwebale yedala tuwa galo kweba zenyo abebi uma tuwa yanzisa tuwa yanzege tuwa gala okweba zenyo enyo enyo kwayas chida yo ne ne na jana nkumbi Uh, mwebali nyo mwebali dala okuyimba njaga lokweba za badiko ni bawa no buli mutu yenna akoze kyakoze abasumba bavudde je muvudde mwe nanja gala kubeba za mukoze bulunji nyo now this is the arrangement we are going to ask the families of the celebrants to go out after this through that door where you are going to have a photograph with your ordinance. Our families, the Batu de Wano Kuntebez in Zablu, Muja Fulma, name Sakamu in Deco, Muja Fulma, Bariba Chak Befan in Tragalabaveo, Muja Genda Muchifan and Muja Kuita Wano, Abala Latemita Wo, Nabu to Kalakumbaga, Omuriango go to Guiti Buamu, Atari Mugore, Obo Muereza. So, mujja kuita wo mugende baba ku baby fana nyi na abagoreba mmwe. Na ye enteka teka iri bweti. Saidi ya wano. Abafunye cards. Bali no kubanga baina mil ticket sikati bagenda muweme eno abaze na abagore bajja genda muweme eno. Na yenga enteka teka weri na balala fenna tujja kubera bulunji na ye okuita wano oyino kubera ne card oba ne mil ticket akoko kake njagaddo bategeza waliyo na wali enteka teka emala ekoleddwa na bekanisa na olocho twali kufe ajja kuva wano ngatasanyuse ababa gole tusaba muite wano aba krista ya balala mwenna banange tujja kukoma weno tuite miliango jino kubango miliango kuli tugenda gugala so that it doesn't spoil the event. God bless you very much, and we will see next time. Kati chino njaga lo kuchogera, haba kamera, wachite muta deko kamera, mchiteke wano. Saga la te kubala ba, nga omusumba chigu ndwa zo kubatiza. Atene mutani kukwe murugunya murugunyati, hey, na yono simukadi. Haa, kakati musumba chechaba isiza. Noro ensonge ye bintu ebyo njagala mubenga mbitegerera dalabulunje mukama tuwa mukisa tunalaba gana 
omulundi omulala god bless you teka kakayimba solomon wadde webuzabuzana yinkufunye